Yes, yes, guys, this is Nilly Last, bringing back another gameplay for today. And as you can see, we are playing Kill Confirmed on Recovery. And before we jump into it, guys, if you could please drop a like on this video before you hop out. I only want a five, maybe. See, I'm not a greedy kind of guy, so if you could drop a like on this video, it'd be absolutely amazing. But anyway, guys, as you can see by the front of the screen, basically, I've actually hit Master Prestige at last. It should have been, should have been a lot sooner. But since I've been making YouTube videos and uh, trying to get used to how to making them and trying to get better for you guys along the way, you know, it's taken me a bit longer. I must admit, a lot longer than what I hoped. But I'm thinking now, am I going to reach 30 by the time Black Ops 3 is coming out? I know, like, all the videos are out now. I know it's about six months away, but I'm, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I know you can sell a lot of gear on this and you do get a lot of double XP. So you never know. I might hit it. I am going to give it a go. But also, along the way, now that I have prestige, to up to master prestige, basically, I'm glad it's not like Modern Warfare 3. Now, when Modern Warfare 3 went from 10 to 20, it was a nightmare because you still lose your attachments, you still lost everything to a certain degree, and it, I just, I found it quite annoying. I really did. But with this, it, it's not too bad now. Like, obviously, they, they've moved things like stock and things like that for your, um, for your weapons onto your attachments now that i especially when they're playing as an assault rifle guy uh every time i prestige i lose it then i gotta get 20 hit fire kills again and whatnot else and i just find it annoying so i'm an smg kind of player anyway but that's why i always found that i just stick with my asm1 once i've got like the four grip and the long barrel and stuff i always set them for the rest of the time so i never really bothered but this time now i am going to try and bring plenty of different guns I am going to try, try and get as much cam as I can from now up to Black Ops 3. Which is bringing into the point now, as you can see, I am not using an ASM-1. Once again, if anyone knows me in all my previous videos, always use an ASM-1. Bar a couple where I'm using the Obsidian Steed. But I, I like rushing and I like running around. So what my idea is at the moment, I'm going to try and do all the SMGs. Not saying like I'm going to do them all, but that's it. I'm going to do the SMGs hopefully and the assault rifles. When I did Black Ops 2, I did do every single weapon category. And I vowed I'd never do it again for the simple fact is I am no phase elite. I'm absolutely dog rough with a sniper. I've got to be honest here. I, I, it, it was awful. It was painful to do, and I, I never do it again. It just does not suit my style of play whatsoever. So I'm going to probably just stick with these two. Hopefully I'll get them done. And as you can see at the moment now, I've switched over. I've got the KF5 Breakneck. Now this gun, I've got to be honest here, is absolutely brilliant. I really find it absolutely amazing. You get you get plenty of bullets. Um, it's a, the, literally the only gun that I've used that I can stick a silencer on it. I mean, the amount of guns that I use that are just absolutely awful with a silencer on doesn't really bother me too much whether I have one on or not. But sometimes it, it comes in a bit handy if you're trying a bit sneaky in that lot, especially playing kill confirmed. I wouldn't stick it on on hardpoint or anything else like that. I'm, you know, pretty much people know what I'm going to be doing anyway because I'm always jumping in about the hardpoint. But I think it's brilliant. Absolutely love it. The fire rate's amazing and whatnot else. I know a lot of people have been using this gun for probably a long time, but... You know, I think this is this is right up there with it, and I'm enjoying this one no end. I'm probably enjoying the fun side of it because I've done the ASM one. Hopefully, when I finish K5, then obviously the uh, this SMGs tend to go a bit downhill after that. Let's be honest, they're not as competitive. But I I'm going to give it a go, guys. I am going to give it a go. I'm going to see how we get on. I've got the AK12 RIP, so that'll be pretty good. So I'll make sure I get some stock up on that as well, and. In all of my future videos, I'm going to try and bring some different ones and see how we get on. But anyway, guys, that's going to be me closing out now. Like I said, before you jump out on this video, please drop a like for me, help me out, and support my channel. It'll be absolutely brilliant. As you can see, the enemies were forfeiting. You know, they were, they're they pretty scared of that, uh, that breakneck, to say the least. Weren't they? No, not really. But, you know, it was a pretty easy game overall. Anyway, guys, this is going to be nearly last closing out now. And coming up on my screen now is going to be my subscribe button. Please click on that. Come back and check all my future videos out. And also, guys, you can drop a like, like I say, on this video and help support my channel. It would be absolutely fantastic. And also, some of my previous videos are on the screen now. Please go back and check them out. Anyway, guys, this is going to be nearly last. And I'll catch you later.